Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we're going to address a couple things today. First thing we got to do is make some C-bills for our financial report. Now we do have a couple things we can sell in the uh, um, in our storage, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just go straight into a, a mission here. So let's go straight to contracts. Um, the second thing I want to do today is there was a question raised uh, in the comment section um, whether or not I use... Um, hotkeys while I'm playing games and it's actually a really long explanation um, so we're gonna do that as we're loading in here so we're gonna go uh, we're doing a capture base I want to go one of four I want to make sure we make our financial report uh, this month so we're gonna go this route first and then if we can pull off a second mission we'll do that and we'll go more for salvage so let's go accept this and we're gonna bring in the assassin let's unflower pilot the assassin Go this route. Uh, we got the hunchback uh, back. We got the medium laser double plus, the X pulse, a medium pulse laser, and a bunch of machine guns. I want to try out the um, new mechanic for the machine guns where you can select the number of rounds you can fire. Um, so we're going to try that out today. Uh, at one scale mission, we should have no problems. So let's deploy this and get it done. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Okay, so to answer the question, do I use hotkeys? Yes. Do I use hotkeys in games like this? Generally not. And there's a huge explanation as to why. Um, short of it is, um, I guess the easiest response is that my body likes to react, um, like do things quicker than I can think uh, sometimes. So... Um, by not allowing myself to use hotkeys, uh, I can basically restrict kind of what I'm doing, <laughs> if that makes sense. The long of it is, um, there's, I've been on computers since, mm, I guess, the late 80s. Um, and I first started getting into computers when uh, it was still Fortran machines in high school. And it was basically you'd color in, um, you'd pencil in um, on cards um, what you wanted the computer to do. Then you take your whole list of cards and you feed it into a, a computer and it basically does it for you, right? That's where I started in computers. Then the year after that, uh, DOS was released and we were I was using DOS after that. Um, so my history with computers goes way back. Now, the job I've been working in, media industry, for the past, oh, 30, almost 30 years, 29 years now, 28 years, 29 years, um, I've been using computers pretty much the whole time. Um, and the job I'm currently in right now, I've had for 22 years. And I sit behind a desk all day long. And... Um, I've got, I've had a, uh, my, my setup at work has been pretty much been the same. It's basically a, a computer. Uh, I've been using a Mac for pretty much the, my entire time, but a computer with two monitors, um, because video editing generally, I, I find it's easier on two monitors. So I, that's what I've been doing, uh, video editing and graphics work, um, for the past 22 years at the same company. <coughs> um, uh, but the um, so in that time the sitting in a chair constantly eight hours a day and then coming home and then being on a computer at home has taken its toll on me um, about five years into the the job I'm at right now um, what ended up happening was um, I got something that the doctors called repetitive stress disorder uh, in my arms um, now it really um, at first I thought it was carpal tunnel wasn't um, uh, but it, it messed me up pretty bad it got to the point where I couldn't use my right hand very well um, and I had a really really hard time uh, at work but I still worked I mean I I love the job that I, I, I work at um, so I have no problem working through pain um, but um, yeah so what I ended up doing was uh, in order to continue working, because it, my right arm was so bad, what I did was, um, uh, at the time I was playing um, Diablo 2, I'm not sure if anyone's ever played that game, 
or how old you guys are, but uh, I was playing Diablo 2 at the time. And I thought, well, if I'm going to learn how to use a mouse with my left hand, because I, I couldn't, I was having an almost impossible time with my right, I had no problems using the keyboard, right? But just use, sitting down using a mouse was really painful for me. Um, so what I ended up doing was training my trained myself to use my left hand with a mouse, just reverse the, uh, the uh, mouse buttons and began using my left hand. And I trained myself to be accurate with the mouse by pl playing Diablo 2. Right, you know, click where you're, you basically click where you're moving, um, and in order to to be really good at it, you got to be fast, right? So that's how I learned. Basically, I trained myself with my left hand. Um, so um, when my left hand started getting really bad, um, less than a year later, um, I thought there's something else going on. So I went to have myself checked out and. Um, it wasn't actually repetitive stress disorder and it wasn't carpal tunnel. Um, what they told me was, uh, is that um, my arms, my forearms, were building up scar tissue um, because of the way I was sitting at my computer. I would have my arms on my armrests. So they told me to take my arms off my armrests. And so I did that and my arms started getting better. Um, and my shoulders started hurting after that. But um, so, yeah, where was I going with this? Right, so, um, uh, what I ended up having to do after that, um, because my arms were still slightly hurting and stuff, um, what I ended up doing was going back just to recheck to see if, if I didn't have carpal tunnel or any of that stuff. So, no, still didn't have carpal tunnel, but what they discovered, um, the head of neurology at the hospital, the city that I live in, yes, he uh, discovered that I have what's, it's like a rare condition, um, well, not, it's not really that rare, but rare enough. Uh, it's called Martin Gruber anastomosis. And basically, I know it sounds bizarre, but basically the nerves in my arms don't travel straight down my arm like they're supposed to. They wrap around my arms. And for anyone who knows anything about nerves, um, nerves generally, they're not stretchy. They're not like muscles. They're not like any other kind of tissue. They're pretty much fixed in the in place. They've got a little bit of leeway and give, but not much. So by applying any kind of pressure to them, it ends up stretching them and straining them and stuff, right? So the scar tissue that I had built up in my forearms and my elbows and stuff, uh, and coupled with the fact that my nerves weren't traveling straight down my arms, basically um, was causing my causing my problems. So um, anyway, I, you know, this is like a really super long explanation. Um, but anyway, so um, and the fact that my my condition also means that my nerves all cross over each other. It means that when a signal is traveling, for instance, if you um, pinch the end of my index finger, for instance, the signal that's on the index finger. I should have checked that machine gun before I fired it. See, I'm talking and I'm not uh, talking and not watching. Um, so the signal that goes down my index finger also travels down the same uh, nerves that all my other fingers um, are using. So not only am I feeling it on one nerve, I'm feeling it across all of my nerves. Um, so it ends, I end up getting some really weird sensations sometimes in my arms and stuff. Um, but anyway, that being said, uh, here I am 22 years later. The reason why I don't use hotkeys at home um, mostly because all day long um, I'm working on a computer and working in programs that I am using hotkeys in all the time. Uh, I've been using the same programs for almost um, you know 20 years now After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, the editing systems have changed from Avid to Final Cut Pro to um, Premiere Pro but still most of the most of my keyboard settings are the same but I use hotkeys all the time right. Um, but slowly at home, I started not using them. Um, and now I think the main reason why I don't use hotkeys at home um, is because I'm just so... Um, I, yeah, burnt out, I guess, is probably the best way to, to describe it. I'm burnt out at the end of a day's work. Um, and my brain is like just not wanting to process anything. So when I don't use hotkeys at home, and I know it seems like a strange reason, but when I don't use hotkeys at home, um, it's just another way to relax my brain. It, it gives me the opportunity to rest my arms too, 
um, because I'm not constantly, you know, bring, having them up and using the keyboard and all that kind of stuff. Um, but um, like I said, it just it just gives me the ability to um, rest my brain as well. I don't have to focus on learning new hotkeys for all the games. And I know it can become um, second nature to be able to use hotkeys and stuff. But that's really the reason why I don't do it. I had to think about it too when that was when that question was posed there, because it's like, yeah, why don't I use hotkeys anymore? But that's pretty much it. It's just that it's just I don't I don't either need to or have the desire to at home anymore. Um, I just like my arms just relax and I'm just able to like you know just use the keyboard while or use the mouse while I'm playing, right? So anyway, that's just it. Kind of a long story. Um, there's a lot, I mean, there's more to it in, you know, the long run than that, but it's kind of a lot, it's kind of the, uh, rough gist of the story anyway. Speed, no so I still get, every once in a while, I'll still get, oh Christ, it's an Irby. Every once in a while I'll get, uh, oh, yeah. muscle spasms in my arms where I'll just drop things randomly and, um, I've had it looked at, but the doctors really can't do much, so it's like you just got to kind of put up with it. But yeah, the less I can use, like if I'm using keyboards all day long, the last thing I want to do is be using it all night long too. And I, you know, it's easy to say, hey, well, just don't use the computer. But you know what? I, that's like you know, telling someone not to breathe for me. <laughs> it's I have to do it. It's just what I. It's it's something I totally love, right? So I don't know what I would do if I couldn't use a computer. Ah, and I didn't check the damn machine guns again. See, you got me talking. That's what the problem is. I got myself talking. All right, so one vehicle down. Ow. Good thing it was an OC, only an AC-10. Okay, we gotta get on that guy. Actually, we don't. We can just avoid him for now. Another Irby. He's running, though. He's got his back to us. Um, that's a side strike. Let's get over there. Okay, we're gonna check these machine guns out in a second. No fire on this guy. Nice. Finally, somebody else taking a head hit other than us. Get right in on him. I know he hasn't gone yet. There was a comment before about uh, moving in on an Irby that hasn't fired, but you know, gonna take these chances to hit and try and knock this guy out before he can do anything. Okay, four hits. Yags, how far can we get? Can we get behind him? We cannot. Yeah. Let's get right on this guy. We still have that goblin down in the valley behind us, but these guys are nice and split up, so let's take them apart one at a time. And we need to save some heat, so let's leave... Yeah, let's just leave the large pulse off for now. I know it has the best chance to hit, but we need to get that heat back. Plus we have one more mech to go. All right, Megasaur, let's get in here. Let's take the chance. You got the armor. All right, now I want to see this machine gun here. So apparently, this is times four. Thought you could change. What the hell? Why won't it... 4 times 5... So you can increase the... I don't understand what's going on here. I thought it said you had a way to select the number of rounds you fire. I'll have to go back and reread that. Because I thought it would just said it just gave you the, the damage number. Times five. Oh, there it is. There. Okay, you click on the actual weapon. Is it weapon? Oh, I see. Okay. Times one. Times two. Three. Four. Five. Or off.
Okay, so it gives you a better chance to hit the less you fire. So if we go with 3, which is 6 rounds, it's going to give us 34%. So let's go that route. That makes sense. Okay, that okay, I'm getting it now. All right, let's fire. See what happens. Hooray! We got rid of the laser. Small laser. What is this guy? This guy's the 60R. 60C. AC10 MG. Um, Waiting for orders. Roger. Not going to pass up this opportunity. Um, do the medium laser off. Fire the rest. Gives us better chance to hit. I'm here. Comet. Um, this guy's pretty burned up here. Let's get around behind him. Let's see if we can finish him up. Got his leg. And okay, there we go. Let's get on this other Irby. So we can hopefully take his arm here with the AC-10 in it. Large pulse up, and we'll leave one of these guys off. Okay, some solid hits. Enemy Critical damage detected. That's pretty good. Yes, Commander. Megasaur. So we got one vehicle left, so we can park ourselves here while we shoot this guy up. Yeah, I used to play a game of the, called uh, Lord of the Rings Online. Now I'm remembering back. People used to ask me the same question. Do I use uh, hotkeys or do I just use a mouse? And I was a mouse player. I mean, we had like three bars of skills or four bars of skills at one point in time at the bottom. And I'd be clicking on every skill. Right? Yeah, that was... Uh, and they were... I, I still remember them saying, I can't believe you, you use a mouse and you're still able to play like that. And I'm like... Yeah, you just learned how to do it, right? Maybe it may not be the most efficient way to play a lot of the times, but it's the way that works for me, so that's what I do. That's what I do. All right, let's get right up in here. Double time. Let's go. That vehicle, I don't know what the hell he's doing back there, but he's left his teammates here out to dry. Oh. Okay, so apparently the engine destroyed is a way to say engine crit. So I guess, but I don't know. I just saw three crit. I saw two destroyed, and uh, one crit there. So I'm not 100% sure. I know it's supposed to be a known bug, but I don't know what's really going on. Not that it matters. Let's toast this guy up here. Yeah. Enemy down. Oh yeah, let's go find that vehicle, and we can get the hell out of here. Um, let's not get up in the open so he can't shoot us. Get some heat back. It's a goblin down there, so it shouldn't be too bad. I hear him moving back there. So our hunchback's loadout is not the best. This particular one with the machine guns. It's the old version of the hunchback. We're just going to wait and go together. Um, but it's going to do for, for now. Those pulse lasers and machine guns I think will help. I mean it's certainly better than the two large lasers and the uh, fluid gun we had. Alright, let's see if we can rush this guy. Uh, we're going to go together down this way I think. Where the hell is he going? Get the hell out of here, I guess. Full 
All right. Let's get down there. Commander? All right, Comet, burn it. Roger. Burn bright. Goblin 45. Standing by. Yeah, let's get down in here. All right, so hopefully this guy will show himself. We can kill him. Nope. Uh, he's better off waiting for us to come after him. Uh, but we're going to move down into here. We'll wait and try to go together here. Once again, my uh, impatience showing itself. All right. Just don't want him to kill any of us here. Megasaur. Double time. Let's go. It's a Megasaur. Commander. On my way. Double time. All right, we should be able to finish this guy up next turn. What's he doing here? Just didn't have the Red juice, eh? Walk it up, give us the best chance to hit. Targeting, fire everything. So the assassin definitely does have a better loadout than it had before. At least it feels better. Barbecue. Okay, four hits. There we go. Reporting. Enemy and the removed. base is ours. And done. There we go. Mission successful. All right, 658,000. Nice. All right, a little bit of damage in the assassin's arm. That's with the AC hit, but it didn't pen. Just took the armor all off. That's the left arm. Doesn't have anything in it anyway, so not that bad. And we got two mech parts. Maybe we should take those. No. Um, I see engines. God, nothing here. Absolutely nothing here. These are worth 32000 if we sell them. Large laser is not that much. AC-10, not that much. Let's just grab one of these for cash. Yeah. Okay, pair of SRM-6s. We can use them as backups, I guess. Heat sink. Yeah. All right, the map cannot be downloaded, so that's just fine. Um, yeah, 5,000. Three days for repairs. That's really nothing, considering we got we took an, that AC hit, man. We got the other hunchback uh, back to where it was. We got five medium lasers back on this guy. I had to replace the hand. It's a good thing I took that hand before. We're out of hands now, so we got to keep our eyes open for those things. Um, all right, three days. That's actually more than that. we got to take the six days for our pilots. So we can pull off another mission here. Take something a little harder, I think. All right, let's have a look here. Actually, maybe if we're going to do that, let's get the... Well, we can always do another mission before the end of the month. Let's have a look here. Command Center, Contracts, what do we got? Um, noisy Neighbors? Outworld Alliance? Battle? I think we should do that. One and a half skulls. I think we'll probably be okay. Even with the lance we have, I think we should probably do all right. Um... Yeah, the Assassin was working pretty fa pretty good, and it's nice and fast, so let's take this. We're getting pretty close also, too, to uh, um, getting the next level of rep. We're at 58 right now, so another 20 more, and we're, we're good to go. So let's negotiate this, and let's go full salvage on it. 2-9? I think probably, yeah. Rose Alliance? Sure. And let's deploy and get this sucker done. All right, here we go. We're nice and fast, so we don't have to worry about if they got reinforcements. Here we go. Yeah. Waiting for orders. So now you guys know that I'm in the uh, sort of video oh. graphics business, video and graphics. Um, so today I was at work, yes, and uh, actually what happened, mostly happened yesterday. Um, I've been working on a TV spot now for the past, well, three work days. Um, so I was working on it last Friday. Um, and then Tuesday, Wednesday of this week, because it was family day up here in Canada. I think it's President's Day in the States, but uh, in Canada it was family day. And um, so I had Tuesday, Wednesday this week, and I was working on the spot, and 
they'd given me all the what they determined was the final graphics like all their uh, final artwork and stuff and i was working away and doing logo animations and a whole bunch of stuff and then uh so yesterday they they contact me i sent them samples and they were they were liking where i was going with it all they're like yeah yeah this is great this is great and then yeah <laughs> yesterday afternoon they said oh by the way so and so is going to be sending you the final graphics and i'm like what you, these are marked final why did you give me these if they're not final oh well we'll be sending you the final graphics we had to make a few changes a few changes they changed the entire layout all the artwork was it was like it was like a completely different it was the logo was different everything was different and i'm like how is this a few minor changes so I, basically the past two days because this thing needs to go out as soon as possible i was basically rebuilding everything they're of course going to pay for it but still it's like it's a waste of my time especially when i'm working on like three or four other things at the same time it's like i don't have time to mess around with this shit. all right javelin wasp a rapier and a stinger now this guy isn't it the reap am i thinking okay this is the pirate version it's the loc lct is locust right um is this not the one that's got um i'm thinking am i thinking the raptor the one that's got the t-samp cannon i'm trying to remember what all the mechs have i, I you know as a commander it would kind of be helpful to know what i'm actually facing um, let's get into here. But it's like I, my memory is for this is not uh, what it used to be. All right, I think I want to fire on this guy. Well, maybe not. Twenty nine, thirty three. What do we got on this guy? Eh, not that much better. And these guys, of course, can't be fired on. Yeah, let's just shoot this guy. Why not? All right, Comet. Um, let's get into striking distance, but let's get over here. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. If you can't actually hit anybody, there's no point in being in there yet. Receiving. Sunflower. Yeah, let's push it a little bit. Turn a little bit towards the two guys up on the hill. Targeting and fire. And uh, Megasaur. Uh, once again, we can't actually get in the battle right away, so let's just pull back over here. Let's hope, let's hope they mostly shoot for the Wolverine. Um, I guess they must have... Did they reserve? I don't even I guess they must have reserved that last turn I don't even know how to explain that wasp and javelin it's really this guy is the threat I'm gonna get right on this guy because that's how I do um, what do we got a lot of shiz on here let's just hammer the shit out of him you get that leg yeah man screw you buddy So I saw a comment in the uh, uh, Battletech, um, one of the Battletech Facebook pages that I'm part of. Someone, somebody posted, do you ever notice how when a mech falls, it sounds like Chewbacca? And I'm like, well, <laughs> I never thought of that, but it does kind of sound like Chewie a little bit. Still sounds like creaking metal to me, but that's just me. Let's get in here. Keep our back to the wall. Let's hammer the stinger, maybe. It's multi-target. Medium laser to B. Roger that. Let's 
Eh, could be worse. So with this, if this, they don't have any reinforcements after. Why are they not moving? They don't have any reinforcements after this mission. We're gonna take another mission because we can. That should put him within range, I think. Let's just hit him. It's too bad we've only got um, five laser hard points on this uh, on this guy because I'd really love to be able to uh, add more flamers. So I don't think we're in range with much here. Oh, the X-Pulse. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can kill this torso. Nice. Target's taken a critical hit. Well, these noisy neighbors aren't so noisy. Is it noisy neighbors and nosy neighbors? As long as you want a melee buddy, I'm cool with that. Come on, what are you guys doing? Wow. You guys just all ended your lives here. Well, he is overheating, so... But he's only got two medium lasers. It's not like he can't fire both and lose 10 heat. Okay, the wasp, what's he doing? God, it's brawl bots, guys. What the hell? They're all good at punching, though. See what this guy does. If he kicks, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna laugh my ass off here. Nope. Smart move, Tex. Okay, Miss Flowers. Uh, who do we want to kill? I think we really want to get rid of this guy. But we don't want to shoot. We want to shoot his side, I think. So let's get in here. I don't know, man. How much has this guy got in his back? Yeah, it's still respectable, like 18 or 20. Um, let's just target this guy's side and fire. Okay, there we go. Had to think about whether he was going to die or not there. He's not eliminated. He's just taking a dirt nap. So they must have reserved last time. Either that or we're just really fast. Yeah, when aren't they in my rear arc, for Christ's sake? Warning. Armor low. Yep. Yes, Commander. Why isn't my armor low? I'm gonna do this. Confirmed. I think I want to burn up this uh, this javelin here with all these medium lasers. Be good. There's five hits. So even if we don't kill him next turn, he's really not going. He might shoot one or two lasers, but that's it. Okay, Wasp, what are you doing? It's Stinger and the Wasp. Alright, well... Take care of this problem. Man, this guy's like the light mech killer. Just need some dead fire ammo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just annoying somebody by saying that. Get the dead fire ammo in there. I think it's doing fine without it. We need the range on the SRMs. SRM dead fire ammo is okay, but you really need the range on them, so. Okay. Guess it doesn't matter how many you shoot. Let's see if we can jam these things. Let's go all the way to six. Sure, why not? Fire them all. Thank you. 
The array is jammed. Okay. Standing by. Oh, this guy's gonna barbecue. Bar B Q. Roger. Take this. There goes the torso. Minus six initiative, so he's done. You're done. You're done for today. Ms. Flowers. This guy wants to play the back game. Let's play the game with him. Okay. So it'd be nice if we can get a couple pulse lasers for this assassin. Keeping my eye open for it. It's one of the things I want to get for most of the mechs is pulse lasers for sure. I haven't used them much in the past. Mostly because it was like the volume of medium lasers, you could put twice as many in. And the pulse lasers really weren't doing much for me with the double extra weight and heat and everything. But now, I don't know, it just seems to be the way to go. Affirmative. Especially against like more difficult uh, enemies. That is just fire. That's it for him. Target eliminated. And no reinforcements. Beauty. Mission successful. Okay, so let's hope for some parts out of that rapier. Uh, we should definitely be able to pull another mission off today. Yeah, back armor went down to eight. That was pretty close. Now I don't think we took any damage. Machine gun erased. Yeah, it would just jam, so it's fine. Uh, arc welder. Um, tons of medium lasers. Tag. Gonna take that. God, I almost took the hand. Double heat sink. And let's see what else is down here. Oh, wait. So this is the plus two recoil, plus 15% heat, but plus three accuracy. Warfare Suite QS. So let's take the tag out. Uh, I don't know. Do we take the double heat sink out or the tag? Um... We've got one of these already. Let's take the tag, because I don't think we have any tags, do we? No, let's take it. We can certainly use it. And the Warfare Suite QS. Not quite as, as good as the Warfare Suite, but it's but it's pretty good in a pinch. So let's bring this in. Plus 10% weapon heat generator, but we can put it on a cooler mech, so. Alright, let's confirm this. So Stinger and Wasp part LRM5 paramedium lasers, which are nice. Jump jet and double heat sink. Perfect. All right, 8,000 is no real repairs at all. You know what it is? I keep thinking we're gonna be taking a lot of repairs, but we don't really have ferrofibrous or NSS and all that kind of stuff through all of our mechs. So it really is not all that much, right? So let's go to six days. Thank you. Okay, so let's have a look, command center. What's higher level contract? We got anything that's two skulls? So fire for effect, one and a half. Target acquisition, don't really want to do that. Uh, Renegade, assassinate mission, two skulls. Against who though? Inside job, pirate organization. Two skulls against the pirates. Let's go for it. Let's just do it. Sure, why not? Let's negotiate this. Let's go full salvage. Maybe we get a pirate engine or something along that line. Now, this assassin is doing really good. Uh, the hunchback, we're having a really hard time hitting with these medium lasers. Um, they're missing an awful lot. So I'm going to leave the assassin in. We're going to go this route. Um, maybe we should just check our pilots real quick before we go, just in case we got some more skills here. Don't think we do, but might as well just make sure. All right, Baba Yaga. Um... We don't really have to worry about minimum range and hesitation right now, so we'll leave it here. Waiting for order. Megasaur. Um, now here's a question. I'm going to throw this out, guys. So on a melee pilot, is it better to go with tactician 
get the extra resolve gain and minus 50% critical hits taken since it's going to be in like right up close on the enemy? Or is it better to go with like gunnery or or um, ace pilot? Like I don't think ace pilot is really as valuable on this guy because you can't run in punch and then punch and run away. So I'm thinking that tactics is better. But I'm just going to leave this for now. If you guys can drop some comments in the comments down below. Um, let me know what you think. Should we go with tactics or gunnery? It's really, I don't know, I, I'm kind of leaning towards tactics because most of my melee pilots in the past that weren't really dedicated pilots, but they were, I was using them as melee pilots, we weren't really using gunnery at all. So tactics, I'm thinking, would be better. Getting the bonus resolve gain, uh, bonus to initiative, and, and minus 50% critical hits taken. That's, like I think, a huge benefit. Uh, but I'll leave it to you guys. Let me know what you think. Um, what can I, do for I think what we'll do though is we'll hold off. I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go all this route, for ace pilot. But I'm thinking we're going to need someone that's got like. That's like a tank pilot that just can like run in and be a tank and take lots of crit hits and stuff. And some hit and run pilots. Baby Yaga's hit and run right now. Um, actually, you know what, you guys, put some comments in the comment section down below. How do you think I should outlaw the, outlay these pilots? We got order. one melee pilot, and we've got two um, uh, primary pilots. I'm thinking probably one of them should be tactics, and the other one should be um, ace pilot. So we have two hit and run people, and then. A person that can move in a slower mech and just constantly be firing relatively in the open with heavy armor and our melee mech. And then we have a backup and Zed Trader Bob, Zombie Trader Bob. Um, if anyone's got a Russian name, you want me to name this guy, let me know. Um, please keep it clean. Uh, but anyway, that's just throwing that out there. I might leave him as Zed Trader Bob because I kind of like the name. But anyway, let's get into this next contract. I think we're okay. We're not going to spend those points. Let's take Renegade. Let's kill this guy. All right. Um, same Lance. I don't think we need to change it out. I think we'll be okay. Okay. Nice. I love this map for these okay. assassinate missions. So do I don't see anybody back here? Usually there's a second lancet that come in from back here. There is a lance up there though. So let's get right in on this guy as fast as we can. Let's just get right up here. And we're going to try and strip, take them apart, depending, depending on what the mech is. Just try and take them apart. Um, leaving enough salvage, and we know if we can, if we know what it is, we can get three good pieces of salvage out of them. Then we just leave. No point hanging around. No point call? dirtying the loot table if we don't have to. Both but if it's not a good mech, or we end up trashing them, then uh, we'll stay around for the leftovers. Gotta make sure we run through this uh, rough terrain here. All right. In a reserve. I want to see what they do here. Waiting for my opening. Standing by. Probably nothing, because I don't think they can see us yet. Full speed. Okay, we got a blip. Arbiter. Is that a DD3? Or DO3? Whatever it is. I don't know. I want to get right on this guy. I want to make this quick. All right, let's move. Should have gone for all uh, C bills on this one. We would have made a good chunk. Might as well. We weren't targeting him, we were actually targeting their infantry units on the hill up here. Just so you know. 
He just happened to be between us and them. Vindicator, maybe? You know, in the old days of Battletech, someone fired an LRM-5 at you, you pretty much knew it was a Vindicator or something along that lines. But now it's like, it could be anything. I kind of like that. Kind of like not knowing. Alright, firing. Oh, one hit. Oh, he's going down, alright. Ow, ow. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injuries. Kinda reminds me of a Zeus, this thing. No idea what he's got. Order. Pretty damn good ECM. At least he was shooting the Wolverine. Could have been bad, bad any other way. And yeah, finishing up the rest of the infantry that we missed the last time. Get up the flank here. Okay, Babiaga's gonna get right up in this guy's face. Well, gonna stare at him between his shoulder blades. Gotta be out in the open for it, eh? Mmm, think I'm gonna go on this side. All right. Um, oh, it looks like he. That must be the. Uh, probably a boomstick, if I had to guess. Okay, a couple hits. Oh, he ain't going nowhere. He's not going anywhere. This is about where as far as he's going to get. All right, three sets of five. Damage is light. Or an LRM-15. No, it's a vehicle. Standing by. Most likely a striker. All right, let's not. I copy. Let's not get up there. Let's just shoot him from here. Targeting for an All right. Don't know how much salvage we're going to get off this guy. Yes, but if we just shut his engine down, hopefully that'll be enough to keep a bunch of stuff. Ah. Let's um, get off this hill. Get off that stupid hill. Wow, three misses like that thing. Really, really. Megasaur. Should be able to finish him up now. Here it comes. There it is. Ah, uh, we lost a lot of stuff in there. We gotta fight these guys. So what do we got here? J. Edgar, Wolfhound. I guess something half decent off the Wolfhound. I don't need to push this. So there's another vehicle back there. Ah, finding somebody within visual range that we can kill easily. Man, I remember some of the, the uh, missions that we used to play. 
these J. Edgars would swarm you in a city and it's like they'd be there one second and gone the next. Waiting for orders. You had to kind of catch them unaware and step on them. On my way. Alright, fire it on this guy. Let's, uh... Go with three. Yeah, fire. Commander. Yeah, we don't need to push these guys just yet. We're gonna jump on that wolfhound right after we kill this guy. Don't want to risk another head hit. That was bad. Alright, fire and everything. God, it's taking forever. Come on! Enemy max. Critical damage. Detected. Stand in by. Order acknowledged. Good thing the flamers have a bonus to hit. Not enough. Really? We couldn't even kill it J. Edgar in one turn. Uh huh. Waiting for orders. Don't want you to be seen. Let's just fire on this guy. This should be good. One hit on the side. There we go. Thank oh yeah, three hits. Nice. Reporting. Enemy vehicle removed. So we're just gonna hang out back here for a turn. Let that wolfhound come in a little more. Raptor. Cool. Let's see if we can get some stuff off that guy. Ready. Come on, buddy. You're the new scout. Get in here. You're just gonna wait, really? Scorpion. Okay. Yes, Commander. Moving out. Got to really cool off here. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. All right, let's get on these guys. I don't want Raptor to go first. For the right move. Let's get to a point where that Raptor might not be able to shoot us. From where he is anyway. Uh, we'll found. So I think this guy's got his large laser in the right arm, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, machine gun's still set to three. We'll leave them there. Not that we can actually hit from here, but... Okay, moving into sight range. Okay, they're just regular lasers. Let's open for some pulse lasers. Alright, working as a team. So we can take this guy firing. I'm here. Okay, time to do nothing because you're blocked. So we're gonna reserve. <laughs> I totally meant to do that. Roger that. Standing by. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, what are they doing? So Wolfhound goes, the Raptor might go before us too. Oh. Okay. I wonder if he's squashable. Might be able to squash that guy with the Wolverine. No idea. Gonna go after him from the side, just so we don't have our back to the enemy. It's going to take 90 something damage, 94. Engaging physical attack. Ooh. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. 
All right, that was a front hit. That's beautiful. Waiting for orders. Uh, you don't need to do that. What you need to do is get on this side of the wolfhound. Roger. I'm trying to take that arm with a large laser in it. Yeah, I'll fire. We're going to use the hunchback with a machine gun to kill that vehicle. Dude, that ECM that you got is not helping anybody out being back there. At least I think he's got an ECM. Okay. Let's give this guy some heat problems. It's probably going to be fine. Yeah. Standing by. Okay. Can't multi-target. Because you're our melee pilot. That's right. Well, we selectively target this guy then. Here it comes. Hope Comet goes before this guy. Probably not. Looks like he's going now. Either that or the raptor's going. Okay, it's the raptor. I think it had an O at the end of the raptor. It could be an older version. I don't want to go to the back. I want to shoot this guy in the side. Maybe we take the arm while we heat him up. Fire. There's four hits. Not quite a shutdown, but he sure as heck ain't doing anything. Alright, that's it for that guy. Reporting vehicle destroyed. What's up, boss? Roger. And everything on the side of this guy. He's just weathering the storm, that guy. Let's see what he does now. Oh, he's going to shoot. Sure, why not? Kind of glad that Raptor is moving down uh, this way. Because this is where we're getting out of here. So, uh... Alright, let's fire on this guy. Wolfhound. Firing on the Wolfhound. Yeah, it's taking us forever to kill anything now. Firing. Target's taking a critical hit. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. Bar B Q. All right, what are they doing? Come on. Raptor, you got to come and help your friend, buddy. Come on back over here. He disappeared. Commander. All right, Megasaur. Mm, we're trying to save parts from that guy, so let's not uh, hit him. Not from that side, anyway. Full throttle. We can deal with them. We can deal with them with with the, with the uh, flame units and stuff. He's on fire. Enemy Moving 
All right, barbecue. Four hits. Ready for orders. Confirmed. I know I should probably finish that guy up, but I want to get this guy. Like that. Okay, so that's just the right side on that guy. So we can finish up this guy now, not care. Position confirmed. I like how they've done the machine guns. It's kind of cool. Oh, uh, these guys have a lot of health. Well, at least he's gone. Oh, we still gotta get out of here. Great. These were fast. Done this with the salt mechs before, it just takes forever to get here. Standing by. You know, there should be what's called a finish button. There's a withdraw button, but if you if you've killed all the targets, there should be a button that you click finish and it just says, Oh yeah, you've done everything, so you can get out of here. But whatever. Whatever. So I hope I didn't bore you guys with my uh, story about uh, why I don't use hotkeys at home. Kind of a, it's kind of a little bit more complex than that, but it is pretty. That's pretty much it. Uh, let's get out of here. Okay, contract payment increased by twenty-five percent. Nice, we can use that. Sea bills. Yeah, we should be fine, I think. I don't think we took anything. Nope. These guys were pretty ineffectual. Lots of experience. Raptor. Is that a D or an O? Looks like an O for old. Not that we can take those parts anyway. Can only finish off mechs. So let's take... What's the armored cowl? Uh, for the head. Injury resist and initiative. Endo steel, which we want to take, right? 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 Oh, fire control system, ballistic. One, minus one recoil with ballistic weapons, plus one accuracy with ballistic weapons. Minus 10% heat, no, heat generator, really? Ferrofibrous, that's another possibility. Just want to see what else they got down here. Double heat sink kit, nothing. Let's take the ferro. I think that's probably the best way to go there. Yeah, some good loot on this one. Okay, two Raptor parts, two Wolfhound parts, two medium lasers, a couple of SRMs. You got the armored cowl, and double heatsink. Excellent. That was good. That's a good roll. All right. We are surrounded. No time for repairs again. That's three missions in a row. I think we got lucky on this planet. So let's go look for a diff more difficult planet for next episode. Um, two days for repairs. Let's do that real quick, and then let's have a look at the mechs before we go. Oh, two more two. Two more days, okay. All right, let's have a look here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's end the episode here. That was three missions. Got a million sea bills. So next episode, uh, we'll probably be on a different planet. I'm going to find someplace else to jump to. Uh, how are we doing with Draconis Combine? So we're at 62 out of 79. That's nice. We should be able to finish this up, I think, in the next little bit. Um, yeah, so we'll jump systems, take some new missions next time, hopefully a little higher, two skulls. Uh, and outfit our mechs at the beginning of the next episode. Um, yeah. So until then, if you like the episode, drop a like. If you've got any comments, drop in the comment section down below. Just a reminder to maybe make, make a mention of what we should uh, be doing with our pilots, skills-wise. Um, just throwing it out there to see. I kind of have an idea what I like to do, but, you know, I, I'm interested in what other people have to say because um, I'm always open for new ideas. Yeah. So until next time, we'll see you all later.